The top billionaire in Taiwan, who is also the founder of Apple supplier Foxconn, Terry Gore, announced that he will not take part in the 2020 Taiwan leadership election. And that decision comes after he quit the KMT party less than a week ago. What has changed his mind to run for the leadership of Taiwan in such a short time? What does his departure mean for the leadership election? What is the political ecology today in Taiwan? To discuss these issues and more, I'm glad to be joined in the Beijing studio by Zhong Hu Tao, Research Fellow of the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, and Thomas Wang, PhD candidate for international studies of Peking University. That's our topic. This is a Dialogue. I'm Yang Rui. Thomas, tell me, yes. were you surprised by the decision of Terry? No, I'm not surprised. Because uh, Terry Go basically look very popular in Taiwan. But as I seen in the social media, he, he have not tell us what he want to do after if he run for president. That first thing. Second thing, he really kind of really uh, bothering for the, the United for uh, Kuomintang party and also anti chinese campaign. So that's why I believe, that's why I, 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 I'm not very surprised about he really quit for the relation because he probably will be realized in the, the day before he announced he doesn't really run for president. So he probably realized about not many people really supporting him, especially the like Wang Jinping, like uh, 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 Kuomintang, 31 Kuomintang like, uh, people. So very important. People. So heavyweight uh, politicians from KMT, 31 of them, uh, openly express their op opposition yeah. to his uh, candidacy. Um, Hu Tao, what were the reasons uh, that drove him uh, to quit the race? I mean, there must be some deep-rooted reasons, right? Yes, exactly. Just as you said, there are indeed some uh, deep root reasons. For example, uh, it is doomed for him to uh, fail if he continues to run for this election, since uh, according to the last experience, no one could win if he uh, resigned. You from mean no country. one from the KMT would be able to win? Not only campaign. from KMT, but also from DPT. No one could win without a party You mean party there support. wouldn't be a clear majority for exactly. neither uh, no, KMT, KMT or DPT? Or DPT. Yeah. That's the reason why he, will, he would be doomed to fail. Since he is a businessman, if he invests a lot but there is no reward, that is not a good deal. So if he knows he will fail, then why he would have a try? Obviously, he's not a good student of Donald Trump, who wrote the book, uh, The Art of Deal. <laughs> so he's totally uh, different from uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump gets support from the Democr uh, Republic Party, but uh, Terry Go uh, will not get support from KMT, so they are totally different. There are some similarities, I'm afraid, between the U.S. economy and the poor economic performance of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in my estimation, Terry should have good reasons to benefit from those who feel desperate, who yes. feel quite disappointed with the uh, lackluster performance of the Taiwan economy since uh, Madam Tsai Ing-wen took office uh, 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 three years ago. So yeah. why do you think this billionaire who might have appealed to the mind and heart of those who want the economy to, be, to get better? Um, as I know, like uh, he really a uh, kind of rational person, like uh, for the for the Taiwan's election. Like uh, if he really continue to run for election, like uh, that will be really really destroy the the government, like KMT's like uh, the the election like uh, situation. So what happened is like uh, as I know, it's like uh, in Taiwan the people really uh, honestly Taiwanese people really don't think about Terry Go run for president as the uh, is the improved economy because everybody knows that the key point is the relation in between the cross strait to to getting getting the economics for the for the for the Taiwan's uh, situation right now but the, if Terry Terry go run for president it destroy the the situation for the Kuomintang even the Han Guoyu or like uh, Guo Taiming Taiwan's economy maybe if if, if Taiwan still run run for president the, then like uh, the, the, sh the, the situation will be getting worse. So that's when the people in Taiwan really, really not uh, think of like uh, the billionaire run for president means uh, includes, in, improve the economy. And also Terry Gao himself, he, for himself, he also have a really uh, some history really make a 
Taiwanese people think about he's not really yet so that's why yeah well I'm, I'm not so sure about his track record as a billionaire yeah. Uh, someone who should have uh, uh, pleased both sides across Taiwan yeah. Street because he has the business stakes in the mainland. Yeah. Having said this, what do you think of his short statement uh, uh, for giving up the election? Do you trust uh, Terry for what he says in the short statement? Uh, I think uh, most of the Taiwan people trust him uh, for his statement, uh, especially for those blue camp supporters. Well, let's hear what he says. First of all, uh, this decision, he said, quote, was not because of anyone's uh, persuasion or influence, because he feels that, quote, we all need to return to rationality and policy discussions. Uh, does that mean that he has been misguided and carried away by things that are not directly relevant to policy discussions? Or is that just a, a statement about his grievances, period? I think that statement is really uh, important and it actually was written by some of his uh, great policy makers like uh, Zhao Shaokang and some very other, uh, some other uh, guys. Uh, I think for this uh, statement, he especially uh, emphasized one word rationality, just as you said. That's really a very important issue, especially in Taiwan. Most of the uh, politicians are, become, uh, are becoming not so rational, especially for now. What do you mean by irrational? Irrational because they just want to stand for their opposition, not for uh, ration. Not and the real issues have been sacrificed as a result. Uh, yes, uh, uh, and the economic issues are uh, sacrificed by politi poli uh, politics. Uh, in Taiwan, most of the issues would be uh, color uh, would be color. I mean, by green or blue. Uh, uh, blue. Uh, for example, if there is some infra infrastructure uh, investment. The Chinese authority would invest uh, lots of money to those cities and the counties which are ruled by the deep, uh, uh, by, uh, by uh, 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 green uh, camp or from the DPP. But he, she would uh, invest very little money or even no money to those cities or counties which are ruled by the KMT leaders. Could you know what you say sounds like? A uh, failure of a color revolution, <laughs> either for the green or the blue camps. Yeah. Having said this, Thomas, mm -hmm. um, what do you think of the timing about the meeting, a private one between Ma ying and the Terry Go? Uh, what do you think uh, must have been discussed between these two, uh, the former leader of Taiwan, Mr. Ma, and Terry? Well, what I foresee is maybe uh, they just uh, tell the situation, describe the situation for the Terry Go. Oh, by the way, do you think uh, Mr. Ma ying had encouraged Terry to go ahead and to run for the well, leadership? As, as I feel, maybe not, maybe not, because uh, Ma ying is uh, the KMT loyalist. <laughs> they are very, very loyalty for the KMT. I believe he is the first smart man. He already see the you situation. Mean, uh, yeah. Ma ying is a smart guy? Yes, smart guy. And uh, he really can, he can see the situation. If Terry go run for president, and uh, will be destroyed the, the, the election for KMT. So what happens is Mind Joe, Mind Joe will be back to tell the Terry, Ma, Terry Go, like say maybe reconsideration. Because Mind Joe is not like uh, every politician will be say something very straight. Maybe will be around say, yeah, you need re reconsider reconsideration. But uh, I don't think my angel will be in quest in, 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 like uh, once once uh, Kerry go run for president because uh, he know the situation. <laughs> so now like um, many media think about oh my angel was supposed to Kerry go so run for, run for president. No no no, it's not. I believe he really really calm and really understand the situation. Let's look at the immediate future. Mm -hmm. As a result of uh, the decision of Terry to give up the efforts to run for the leadership, now do you think uh, all of the supporters of Terry would turn to Han Guoyu, uh, mayor of Tai uh, um, Kaohsiung, to support this most promising candidate from the KMT camp? Uh, the supporters of Terry Go would be divided in two groups. One is from the blue camp and another one is from the so-called middle voters. I mean, uh, those who are neither from blue camp or deep camp. And for those, the first uh, group, I mean, from uh, blue camp, those would uh, turn to uh, 
韩国瑜 or would ally under the Han Guoyu's flag. Uh, and for the second group, uh, I think they are considering their uh, future choice. If the Han Guoyu's uh, opportunity is much higher than Tsai Ing-wen, maybe they would have a try to support Han Guoyu. But if uh, Han Guoyu's chance is much lower than Tsai Ing-wen, maybe they will turn to Tsai Ing-wen. And another uh, change, another uh, issue is whether Cohen or some other guy will run for the next the so-called presidential election. In, in fact, we've been discussing facts, figures, and fiction. Uh, yes. In fact, yeah. the candidacy of uh, Mr. Terry Go turns out to be a fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the uh, figures? Let's look at the number of swing votes. It's those majority, I'm not sure uh, swing votes would account for majority of the electorate. However, in, uh, from the perspective of common sense, in all general elections across the world, it is, it is the swing votes yeah. that will seal the fate yeah. uh, of uh, the eventual winner yeah. in whatever election. So what's the size of the swing votes in Taiwan? Uh, for, for, for right now, as I know, right, uh, it's not much. Because uh, because after Terry go like uh, give up the presidency election, so the the for his supporter the the Terry Go's supporter will be back to KMT's party, and rather not not let, what they face is like they don't want to uh, Chai Ing-wen win, but in the swing war because because the Chai Ing-wen have a strong of the campaign. Also, the Han Guoyu also have a strong campaign. So, in the limited space, it's not not much. And uh, so you don't think uh, there is much margin for the swing no. votes to maneuver? Yeah, exactly. W what are your takes? W what are your thoughts? It depends on what scenario it will be in the about three or four months later. Mm -hmm. If there is uh, just uh, some other guy, I mean, if Kovinger or some Song Chuyu or some other guy uh, continue to run yes. for this election, I think those swing voters will become much yeah. more important. Uh, but if there are only two candidates, one is from KMT and one is from DPP, I think those, the so-called swing voters, will uh, stand on the one side. They have no other choice. They have to stand with either KMT or DPP. So it depends on whether some other uh, candidates will run for the election. Okay, let's take a closer look at who are left. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, those uh, serious candidates from the two camps, blue and yes. green. Tsai Ing-wen is the current leader of Taiwan. Yeah. Is she quietly very, very happy about the decision that Terry Gou made to give up the election? I think yes, and for Tsai Ing-wen, she is very happy for this result. Since if uh, Terry Gou continued to run for this election, then the blue camp would be divided. Just as the uh, former UK Prime Minister Churchill says, uh, united we stand, divided we fall. If Terry Gou uh, runs for the election, then the KMT would be divided, then, and that would be a great disaster for KMT. And that would, of course, would be a good news for uh, Tsai Ing-wen and for DPP. However, now uh, Terry Gou changed his mind, and the, there is a very good chance for the KMT to be united again and become much very stronger for DPP. So I think that's really a bad news for Tsai Ing-wen. He, she would become much yeah. harder to win the next election. Probably Hu Tao and Thomas is too yeah. early for Madame Tsai Ing-wen to enjoy the good news about the absence and departure of uh, Terry Go from the election. For example, after yeah. dismissing Lai ching from uh, DPP, mm -hmm. she faces yet another immediate challenge yeah. from Anna Lu. Uh, former vice, you know, president, yeah. quote unquote, uh, of uh, the Chen Shui-bian administration, she decided to challenge the leadership of, uh, you know, um, uh, Tsai Ing-wen. Of course, Anna uh, was an old guy, an mm. old woman, mm. old politician, out of date, mm. but she might still enjoy some support from the DPP, right? Well, what I see is like, uh, I, I have different view with the uh, hotel. That's uh, because uh, I believe uh, right now KMT already been united. Already, been, it's not not uh, have a chance to be divided because uh, because uh, me, uh, you mean KMT is already very divided. Uh, very, no, no, very united. United. united, the other united way around. Uni very united. Because uh, what I see is like uh, the 
the supporter for the for the Terry Go. Mostly what they mingle to supporting for Terry Go. They want to get the Chai Yun Wen run down the, the, the seats. So what happened is if Terry Go don't want to run, those person won't be like those supporters won't be have a chance want to to go into Chai Yun Wen or, or go into other place because they already they knows about if I supporting the other people, then what happens is like a Chai Yun Wen win and the and the anti anti Chinese ones campaigns lose. So what happened is like uh, they will be back to the to the supporting for Kuomintang. But uh, one interesting question is we not only see the president seats, we also need to see the, the legislation member. Because uh, I, as I know it's like a lot of uh Han Guoyi supporter, they not only support the KMT. They think about maybe we give some chance for the new party, Sindang. And uh, also give give other people who Coming says supporting the like uh, want to against Chai Ing Wen or 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 want to supporting for the unification or good relation for the cross street. So that whole that why I don't think Chai Ing Wen really happy to early. And I believe what I believe Chai Ing Wen is not is is not that's really think of will be happy. What well, I believe who says happy is media, not Chai Ing Wen. Chai Ing Wen basically will be very very kind of worried. And also any any re the the the, the vice the former vice president, I believe Chai Yun won't be now will not worry because uh, you know like uh, the standing supporting, I believe she will is harder to pass because the standing stand, standing supporting is really needed to showing your ID card and fill out the phone. So that's why like uh, if she, she want to run for president, she need pass the standing like uh, standing supporting. But Chai and Anna yeah. are both women. Yeah. and they are likely to win the support from yeah. women. I don't know the number and the size of yeah. the women population in Taiwan. Yeah. However, that, I mean, the support of women could be a threat uh, to uh, um, no. Tai Yung Wen. Um, don't you think so? No. You don't think so? Because okay, let, let's look yeah. at uh, the candidacy of uh, Tai Yung Wen, Han Guoyu, and Anna Lu aside for a mm. while. Ho Tao, my major concern, let's go back to the issues. It's the issues that may concern the electorate most. Uh, economy, cross street relations, yes. what are the other issues that may decide the attitudes of the voters? And for Taiwan's election, and the position, I mean, the color is the most important one. Mm. And for the blue camp or other from for the DPP camp or the green camp, I mean, those uh, both of these accounts about 30 percent. I mean, for DPP, for KMT, 30 percent of the Taiwan and these voters uh, are, are very uh, are accounts for this. Uh, are, are very concerned about, the, about their position, about their color, and uh, the, just as you said, the swing voters are very concerned about the economic growth, about the cross-strait relations, and the Taiwan's international space. As for the Taiwan uh, economic growth, I think that's really a, not a good point for Tsai Ing-wen, especially the Taiwan's economy GDP growth this year would be much lower than 2%, uh, much lower than the average uh, GDP growth among in the, uh, around the whole world. So that's really a great challenge for uh, Tsai Ing-wen and for DPP. As for the cross trade relations, that's really also a very another burden for uh, Tsai Ing-wen since uh, she really could not handle cross trade relations very well. As for the uh, Taiwan's, the so-called Taiwan's international space, that's really a very burden for him since just uh, uh, today, before, uh, the day before yesterday, uh, new uh, partner, I mean uh, Solomon Islands, several its relationship with Taiwan and Taiwan could not participate in the WHO, in the ICO and some other international organizations. So as for those swing voters, I think most of them would support for the KMT candidate, not for Tsai Ing-wen. Ever since Madame Tsai took office three years ago, mm -hmm. up to six small countries have decided to sever their official ties with Taiwan. Don't you think that's a devastating blow for the DPP? Because the international space or the breathing space of uh, Taiwan is shrinking rapidly. And this has somehow delivered a strong message. Look, Taiwan has no future for the international society. Well, as I see, it's like uh, that's normal. 
because uh, Tsai Ing when the Tsai Ing Wen run for president in 19, uh, 2000, 2000, 2006, 16, um, she doesn't recognize one China policy. And then and then what happened is that a lot of country because they really really want to have a relation tie with uh, mainland China. And they and, the, and once the Taiwan doesn't recognize one China policy, what happened is like uh, those countries say, yeah, you know, if we, if you not recognize one China policy, then uh, and uh, and uh, we will be have really have a, we want have a relationship with China. But uh, before before you really uh really, really even 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 Taiwan give a, a strong message to those uh, French friendship say no 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 like. Uh, Mainland China is the bad guy. But the, what happened is like uh, you know like the the those countries say yeah no we we want to make a relation but uh, if you really that kind of type kind of that conflict with mainland China all the time we really better it's better for us. So I I predict in future if China Wen continue not recognize one China policy really have no relationship at all in the world. But but. But she enjoys the support from Washington. Well, but uh, Washington have no... Problem. My next question for Hu Tao, yeah. uh, what do you think of the importance of uh, maintaining strong relationship with Washington? Will that give a shot in the arm for the Taiwanese and they feel, oh, okay, we feel a lot safer because uh, uh, the U.S. government becomes uh, much more aggressive in challenging the red line of the mainland, in uh, rewriting some of the commitments that they wrote. Uh, since 1979, 40 years ago, when official ties were normalized uh, during the Carter administration. This kind of uh, change in the American attitude towards the island helps, do you think, helps majority of the Taiwanese people to feel more confident in facing up or standing up to the mainland? Uh, yes, that's really a good question. The more the Taiwan, uh, the, the more the uh, weapons Taiwan could get from the United States, then the more confident would the Taiwanese become, uh, especially for those uh, uh, green camp uh, supporters. They just want to uh, say uh, to pursue Taiwan independence, but they have no power, so they think they could stand beside or stand behind the United States. They believe that United States would help them if they Excuse me, arms supply is one thing, mm -hmm. but do you think uh, the latest arms supply from Washington to Taiwan would seriously tip the balance in favor of Taiwan? Uh, I mean, for years, uh, the military buildup of the uh, Chinese mainland has really put Taiwan to shame. Mm -hmm. There's no such an issue of a serious match. I mean, Taiwan is, is really trailing behind the mainland in this arms race, if any. So do you think the arms race will really show up the morale of the Taiwanese electorate? Mm. Okay. I think for uh, Taiwan, especially for Taiwan Authority, those kind of weapon purchase is just a kind of a psychological uh, uh, or painkillers. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, but that could not change the unbalance between the two sides since the Chinese mainland's power, our army, is become much more stronger than ever before and much stronger, uh, more stronger than Taiwan side. For example, for the Air Force, we have our uh, some new aircraft and we have our new uh, machines. So that we could do whatever around Taiwan. We could show our hands we could show our power, show our uh, strength, but Taiwan's uh, those uh, the jet fighters, for example, the F-16 AB, they just got them uh, in the about 20 years ago, so they are uh, the older generation, so they could not compete with the, the Chinese mainland. As for the Navy, we have our aircraft carrier, we have our submarines, but the uh, Taiwan side have no such kinds of weapons, so the two sides are totally unbanned. As for Taiwan and for Taiwan, the, what, uh, the reason they just want to purchase some weapons is just to get some psychological uh, confidence or something like that. Well, uh, let, let's go back to the candidacy of uh, the election. Now, aside from Terry Go, Thomas, the mayor mm -hmm. of Taipei also gave up in the campaign for Taiwan's yes. leadership. How will this withdrawal affect the chances of other candidates? Well, there's, uh, I believe, a big shock, big, big effect for that. Because the uh, mayor of Taipei was thinking about if Terry go run for president. So his new, part, his new party called the People's Party 
will be supporting Terry Gold for run for the president. But right now, the bus is in the situation. People's party, or are you talking Pe people's about people's party. first party? Mi Min people's, yeah, okay. the people's party. So that's a new party. The new party, TMD. yeah. TMD. TMD, yeah, TMD, yeah, yeah. Okay. TMD. And yeah, it's kind of, yeah. But uh, the thing is like, uh, right now, the Terry Gold is now right for president. The, the mayor of Taipei, Ke Wen Zhe, maybe will be reconsidered what happened right now, what I'm going to do. I have read the latest news like uh, just a couple of minutes ago, like uh, he really have a supporter, really help him to drop the, the sign signature re registration for the, for the like, uh, office day, before deadline today, after deadline today. But unfortunately, it's not get in. So that's why like, uh, in the future, I believe Ke Wen Zhe probably will be two-way. One is join the Song Chu Yi, because Song Chu Yi had the right to, to, to give the public. We all understand yeah. that James Wong so, has no future. Yeah, uh, yeah, he yeah, is but, a, a highly yeah. optimistic uh, from our yeah. observation. But the Ho Tao, uh, what do you think of Hong Kong? Now, yeah. the sagging confidence of electorate in Taiwan was not quite in favor of Tsai Ing-wen for quite a while until the outbreak mm. of uh, violence and anger of the young people in Hong Kong. Yes. Do you think uh, the DPP benefited a lot from uh, the political unrest in Hong Kong and the morale has been showed up as a result. At the beginning, Tsai Ing-wen and uh, uh, DPP indeed benefited a lot from the uh, Hong Kong riots for this uh, storm. Uh, since uh, the Tsai Ing-wen is blaming the uh, so called uh, the blaming one country and two system by this issue, so uh, in this way, Tsai Ing-wen's uh, supporting route indeed is a little bit increasing. The approval rating rose a little yeah, bit as a, a result bit. of the so called setbacks in the execution of one country, two systems exactly. in Hong Kong. Exactly. Yes, but I think this issue would uh, will face the so called uh, diminishing or decreasing marginal effect. I mean, uh, uh, more and more Taiwan people would real, will realize the fact uh, that the, those Hong Kong people are just riots and some of them are even terrorists. They are not, uh, uh, they are not defending Hong Kong, or they are actually they are offending Hong Kong. They are, uh, they are, they are not protecting Hong Kong. So I think those Taiwan people will realize they are true face. Most in the Chinese mainland believe mm -hmm. that the Taiwanese authorities, uh, along with other overseas forces, uh, must have conspired with the pro-independence uh, rioters in Hong Kong mm -hmm. to stir up the current situation in the territory. Mm -hmm. And as a result, most in the mainland believe uh, some actions must have been taken by Beijing to punish the DPP. Okay. For example, uh, uh, dramatically reduction, the dramatic reduction of uh, individual tourists from mainland to mm. Taiwan. What else do you think uh, uh, might be taken by the mainland authorities, both of you, the question, um, to punish the DPP and um, let them know enough is enough. You, yeah. you guys got to stay away and uh, leave Hong Kong alone. I believe like uh, right now as we know the tourism, tourism, the mainlander going to Taiwan, tourism have been banned. That's the first thing. Second thing is like uh, if a DPP, they will watch, keep watching in the next year, 2020 like election itself. If next year the DPP is still winning the election, maybe will be having more like uh, economic cuts. Before the before the military force, but you know, like uh, see the how the situation. Thank you goes. so much. Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Few would doubt that the mainland would let yeah. the situation decline uh, unconditionally. Something would happen once the DPP uh, stands a good chance of winning the next year election. I will see you next time. Goodbye.